Krishna is a uh, all powerful all merciful loving his children and to make us happy what he has to do is just to reduce the volume of the lust or lusty desires so if we uh, suppose only vaishnava can attain krishna what about the others who are not able to tune in with krishna they will be continuously suffering but if krishna can reduce the volume of the lusty desires in every person every mankind then the things will be very easier he, what he has to tackle is only one thing the lusty desires of mankind why he why doesn't do krishna take away our lusty desires he, he will reduce i mean or, or reduce them reduce them well, that's the same thing take them away or reduce them well, the minimum quota take away means Reduce means to take away to some extent. Why doesn't Krishna do it? Well, Krishna wants us to love him. Love him means we have to choose to love him. That means we have to choose to love him or not to love him. And if we don't love Krishna, we'll transfer our loving propensity to this material world that is called lust. So we have to choose to do we want Krishna or do we want to be in this material world? Krishna helps us. He speaks Bhagavad Gita. He comes as Ras Bihari. He sends Srila Prabhupada. He gives us Srimad Bhagavatam. But we have to choose. It's up to us. We have to do our work also. But Krishna helps us in this one way so very nice way that even if we have so many material desires if we simply especially at the end of life if we go to mayapur vrindavan puri and we leave the world in that place then we'll go to krishna so that's the easy way but we also have to choose to go there if we have so many material desires we may resist that also Thank you.